Every year in late summer, I take one of my horses on a little road trip for a few days. So, Sandra, where are, we, where are you going then? Our destination is County Wexford in the southeast of Ireland. For the first time, my plan is to camp out with the horse, so this means considerably more luggage to carry around. In previous years, I either stayed overnight with friends or returned to the van every night with all the camping gear in it. I thought it would be good to start gathering all the gear well before the trip so that I could test it and figure out how to pack. This year, Flora will be going with me. Right, Flora, we'll try to get all that stuff on you now and see whether you can carry it and me. Alrighty. Okay. Don't look worried. Be all right. I got myself a couple of sturdy waterproof saddle bags. I just had to work out how to strap them to Flora. With all that extra weight on Flora's back, it is important to put a thick pad underneath the saddle and saddle bags to prevent sores and bruises. I decided to use an army blanket, which I also plan to use in addition to my sleeping bag for keeping myself warm at night. I use an English saddle. Years ago I got hold of a second hand one which is extremely comfortable to sit in and it fits Flora well. Now the saddle bags. I like that. Click, 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 click. I use another small bag which sits in front of the saddle for water bottles and snacks. For feeding and watering flora, I use a foldable pouch which I can fit into the saddle bag for transport. Of course, flora had to test it. Works all right. Your lunch tastes okay out of this, doesn't it? I seem to spill a lot, flora. Okay, Flora, ready for a first test ride? Just as with humans, it takes horses a while to become fit and build all the muscles they need to travel for long distances with rider and luggage on their backs. Flora is five years old and I've been building her fitness over the last two years. But she hadn't done longer distances before, so this spring I started going on longer rides with her gradually building our stamina from 10 kilometers up to 30 35 over six months or so we did this training without any luggage just to get ourselves fit getting used to the long hours in the saddle as a rider is just as important as getting the horse fit if i get too tired it affects my balance and ability to tune in with flora's movement and as a result the job of carrying me gets harder for flora for our first trip with a small amount of gear in the new saddlebags, we did 25 kilometers. The saddlebags are very spacey, but I realized that they absolutely require tying to the saddle on both sides in two places, plus holding them down and close to the horse's belly with a girth. As my saddle only had D-rings on one side, the saddlebags on the other side were only tied in one place at the saddle girth and the bags kept on slipping sideways, so that needs fixing and I'll have to take the saddle to the saddler to put in another set of D-rings. For the second trip we added to our luggage. This head collar will come in handy when Flora stays in her overnight corral. Instead of buckles it is tightened with a velcro strip, so no danger of getting stuck in a tree branch. I'm putting a name tag with my phone number on it, just in case Flora ever goes for a wander during the night and gets lost. I decided to put a thick numna underneath the saddle and army blanket for extra padding. As a bridle, I use a so-called combination bridle. It can also be used as a head collar to tie up the horse. Also, the mouthpiece can be unclipped easily so that the horse can graze more comfortably at break time.
the feed pouch and food for Flora and I'm waiting for a foldable water canister which I only just ordered. Hopefully it'll arrive in time. This is the mobile electric fencing kit. Telescopic fence posts, electric tape and battery operated fencer. I also take our Kelly kettle on this test trip. Some fuel. Better bring a torch and one of those multi-function tools as well. What I need to figure out today is to pack the tent, sleeping bag, camping mat and waterproof sheet behind the saddle. I try to make a sort of jam roll. Flora is very calm and patient about all this. Not very elegant looking yet, but it's a start. Soon into the ride, I realised that the jam roll has to be strapped very tight. Very tight. Otherwise, it just comes apart. She doesn't seem to be fussed at all about the extra equipment on her back and along her sides. But she does look a bit worried. Or is it me projecting my worry onto her? How on earth will we carry all this stuff with us? Our second trip is another 20 kilometers and we carry most of the gear with us. I try to keep all the gear we are going to take below 20 kilos so that the overall weight Flora will have to carry is still well under her maximum weight bearing capacity. Halfways I take the opportunity to practice the use of our Kelly kettle again. Lovely, a cup of tea in the hills with Flora having a snack. One more thing I thought I'd better test is the mobile electric fencing kit. A good place to do that was around our potato patch in the field. The kit came with meters and meters of electric tape, but only four fence posts. Only four of those aren't able to support the tape for a big enough paddock, so I had to order four more. This peg is for earthing the unit. The light on the fencer flashed, but there's no voltage on the tape. When I checked with the electric fence tester, I found that the batteries sent with the kit were nearly flat. Glad I checked. I'm pretty confident that Flora will stay in the paddock, as she is well used to electric tape and is a quiet horse that doesn't panic easily or get frantic even when on her own. So the last important thing to prepare is the route. I compete with Trek Ireland. One of the main parts of Trek competitions is orienteering on horseback. So I'm well practiced in measuring out routes. Mark, I can measure the kilometers with this one. So from one washed out dot to this dot is one kilometer and that's another kilometer on this scale map. I use a small marker to count out kilometers on the map as I want to make sure that I keep our daily distance between 20 and 35 kilometers depending on the terrain. So the plan is to start from Tim's parents place in County Wexford. Then explore Hook Head. Turn around and head along the coastline around Bano Bay. See in our next film how I got on.